Welcome back. I'm Broward County Commissioner Stacy Ritter. We're here on location. That's what we say in the biz. <laughs> Showbiz on location at the Rental Car Center at the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. And my guest this morning is the is the man who has made this airport move along with his great staff. He told me I wasn't supposed to compliment him, but I cannot help it. I'm sorry. This is Kent George, Broward County Aviation Director. So we were talking about the expansion projects that are planned. First of all, how much money is generated by the airport? What's your budget? My budget, operating budget on a yearly basis is about $160 million. Uh, we do capital budget on top of that, which is, uh, it fluctuates in the past years between about 250 and $300 million. Please remember, I know you know this, but I know the, the, the populace doesn't realize there's not one ad valorem tax dollar that goes in here. No property tax. Like taxes. the port, everything is generated by the users of the airport. Passenger facilities charges, rents. So when you buy a cup some, of coffee, we get some, some of that goes yeah. to your operating. And we appreciate you buying your coffee. <laughs> we appreciate you Spend running money. your cars. Right. And so forth. Buy a magazine when you come here. And we always get something, we get something out of that. And Just like a regular landlord. And you get um, grants from the... Uh, well, but there, we get some grants, but they're only for capital improvements, nothing for operations, okay. and it's not general taxpayer dollars. No. For example, every time you get on an airplane, you pay a ticket tax. That goes into a trust fund that is used for the development of airports and the aviation system. In Florida, the airlines don't, pay... Don't pound next to the microphone. Okay. In Florida, the airlines pay um, a fuel tax, which then goes into a trust fund for that. And then that money comes and distributed for the development of the aviation system in Florida. Aviation is so important to not only the local economy, because it's our, our gateway to the world, but it's also very important to the national economy. And for example, I'll catch you on this. How many people are employed here on this airport? <laughs> I don't know. 13,000 people wow. is what we have in, we issue 13,000 ID cards that we track daily and we're going through there. Wow. Um, it's, now that it's, includes pilots? No, no, it includes all the ramp service people, all the food service so people, the people, rental cars. So the flying out of here are not considered employees of, of the airport? No. Oh, wow, not so 13,000 people. And it's all the businesses that we have on the north side, the east side, the west side of the airport. And all the, you know, it takes uh, three shifts a day. We, we really start flying at about 5 o'clock in the morning and stop flying at about 11.30 at night. Even though there's about 7 or 10 planes that come in in between, mm -hmm. some carriers are still open during that well, period of time. But nice you've got to run this facility, which handles over 65,000 people a day. Wow. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You gotta clean it, you gotta operate it, you gotta do everything. How many flights come in and out of here a day? About, uh, about uh, 600. Wow, okay. In and out, in and out. <laughs> you so. know how I feel about flying, so. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm better, I'm better, I get better. I love, actually, I, I wouldn't go to, a, but you can't get anywhere without flying, so. And, and, you know, we go to 49 of our top 50 destinations daily. So what are the top destinations? New York. Those are, those no, are, well, what are, no, just tell me what they want. New York, New York, York, yeah. New York, of course. And then you've got Atlanta, Chicago, right, Denver, here Philadelphia, Atlanta. Philadelphia, Washington, uh, you know, all those, uh, St. Louis, Dallas, and then you go out to the West Coast. We've got West Coast flights that are going by three different carriers uh, three to five times a day, nonstop, That's and fantastic. back three to five times a day. And so we have access to the world that is extremely important. And so let's talk about some of the plans to expand the airport to... Uh, no. Meet this demand. And see, before the break we were talking about the FAT2 study of the FAA yeah, and the delays. Yeah, you have to tell people what that and is. That, that is a study that was done by the FAA to identify the most delay-prone airports and to fix those airports so they don't exacerbate the system. 
example, when we start backing up at Fort Lauderdale, it backs up on the east coast from the Mississippi east because of the delay in flights and how many flights we have going out. So we're talking about average six minute delays right now. And that means that when you get on your airplane the first thing in the morning and you get going and we have 600 flights in and out and we average six minute delays, that plane in the afternoon and there's a thunderstorm has a very strong possibility of being late. And we try to make sure that that doesn't happen, but- You can't always. You look no at, control it, over look the at the way it works. First thing is, it delays the customer getting in and out. Two, it costs over $78 a minute to run yep. an airplane on the ground, let alone in the air. Mm -hmm. So that's $78 every minute that airplane's delayed, and that's costing the airline. Which ends up costing the customer in the long run because they're that, not going to eat that's that. Right, that's right. Because most people would say six minutes is not that bad, but, but you have to understand that six minutes provides the cost involved in a delay like that. Yes. Um, and then on the back end, how it can back up. So what are we doing to So to put it in perspective, uh, four years ago, five years ago, we finally got the environmental impact statement completed and the, what is called the record of decision. Um, Two years ago, excuse me, the record of decision was uh, issued. We then start now the development of the runway. The runway is estimated to cost about $800 million. That includes the replacement of some gates, that includes the purchasing of some property off the airport, and the building of the runway. The runway is not a ski slope. <laughs> that wait, is wait, wait, we have to break, but I do want to get that. I want to talk about the runway and the expansion of the term, the, the renovation terminal of the buildings. terminal buildings when we get back. We'll be right back.